1936, Regina was promoted to assistant librarian at the 115th Street branch in Harlem. And in 1938, she will become the supervising librarian there, the first African-American to head her own branch of the New York Public Library. For this accomplishment, Regina was honored at the 1939 World's Fair, along with Dorothy Height, Ethel Waters, Augusta Savage, Jesse Fawcett, and Philippa Schuyler. Then Regina and Bill adopted a daughter who they named Regina Ann. Regina balanced a library career with motherhood. The family now resided in the penthouse at 409 Edgecombe Avenue in Harlem. And in 1948, Regina moved to the Washington Heights branch, where she would remain until she retired. Chinese American Edna Law was her assistant librarian there, and Law participated in the program that Regina developed called Family Night at the Library, where library patrons could learn about the heritage of their neighbors. For example, Family Night at the Library, Israel. But library events also included cultural programs like a performance by pianist Philippa Schuyler and Langston Hughes reading his poetry accompanied by a piano. Droning a drowsy syncopated tune, rocking back and forth to a mellow croon, I heard a Negro play. Down on Lenox Avenue the other night by the pale dull pallor of an old gas light, he did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway to the tune of those weary blues. With his ebony hands on each ivory key, he made that poor piano moan with melody, old oh, blues. Mm -hmm. 